Welcome students to Mac Pro classes. Today myself Piraj Mohinder will be discussing with you the different casting tools and equipments allowing in the different patterns. So stick to this video till the end we will learn a lot. Here you can see the cross sectional view of a molding cavity where the molten metal is being poured by the help of a ladle. From there it passes to the runner then it goes to the in gate and it gradually fills up the molding cavity and here you will find the core as well after filling the molding cavity the metal molten metal rises up in the riser as well so you can see the different parts as well the core drag and bottom board as well now i have chosen another figure of cross sectional view of sand casting as well uh, for your ready reference so you can find some more uh, you know the different sections of the sand casting here we will separately find the flux, the sprue, the gate, the choke as well, the runner, pouring basin, vent, uh, the sand, the parting line as well. So this is also the same figure for your ready reference. So this is also the same figure as before but in a different way, in a 3D way. I have chosen these all pictures for your ready reference and clear understanding of sand castings. So you can choose any of the figure for your clear understanding as well. In this diagram you will find the different steps involving the sand mold making procedure. In the previous video I have recorded and make you understand the different steps involving the sand mold making procedure as well. So you can readily uh, refer to that previous video where we have discussed the theoretical portion involving different steps of sand mold making procedure. Then come to this video you will easily understand the different steps involved in that process in this particular figure as well. Now this is also the same figure involving the different steps in a sand mold making procedure uh, but in a colored way so that you can easily understand and used for your uh, reference. So you can choose either of these figures for your uh, steps regarding sand mold making procedure as well. Okay. In this diagram you will find the different types of pattern that we already have discussed in my previous video in the theoretical portion of patterns. So you guys just follow my previous video, go to that video, you will have the clear understanding of the theoretical portion of the different types of pattern generally used. Then come to this video, you will just simply understand what is single piece pattern, match plate pattern, skeleton pattern, etc. Okay. Now this figure gives you the diagram and the different view, the front view, side view as well, the top view of the pattern that we generally used to make casting in our workshops. In the introductory video where we discussed about the casting terms, we already have discussed the hope, drag and cheek as well. Now you will see in this diagram you will find the cope, cheek and drag as well. Here we will find the different tools and equipments for casting purposes. Uh, you can see the shovel for sand mixing and different purposes as well. You will find the riddle where we used to separate the you know the metal parts, scraps parts as well as the pebbles from the sand. Then you will you can find find the rammer to ram the sand. Then the strike of bar to remove the excess sand from the cope and drag box. Then you can find the travel. Then you can find the sprue pin. Then you will find the draw spike, the sleek, the lifter as well, the gate cutter, the bellows as I already discussed you, with you for you know uh, pa parting of the extra sand out of the uh, cope and drag as well. So you just go to the theoretical part of this particular you know pattern introduction to casting as well. Here there will you will find the theoretical portion then come to this video you will easily understand the different tools and equipments for casting purposes. Now here you will find the SWAB that is a swab which is used for moistening the sand as well. Now travel is also there. The same figure you can also uh, refer to the previous one also. Uh, these are also the molding tools and casts, uh, casting equipments you can see. Now you will find the practical you know the uh, picture of riddle that is being used in the casting or you can say in the molding shop to clean the mold sand and to remove the unwanted materials like iron, pebbles, metal scrap etc. Here you will find the most commonly used bellows in foundry shop to blow extra parting materials from patterns and to remove loose sand end particles from mold cavity. Now you will find how to prepare the sand that will be used for molding during casting process. Look we have to 
add different kinds of additives and binders as well to prepare the sand for molding. After preparation of the sand, you have to fill up the coop as well as the drag for molding purposes. For further clarification or clear understanding of sand mold making procedure as well as the binder and additives, you can consult to my theoretical class of sand mold making procedure. Now here you will find the picture of sand muller that is the automatic sand mixing you know the device used widely in foundry shops as I already discussed with you in my previous theoretical classes on sand mold making procedure as well as in the patterns also. So this device helps you to automatically prepare the sand with its binders, additives, moistures as well. Now here you will find the sand rammer, it is the device to ram manually the sand for preparation of specimen that will be used for different testing. Now here you will see the picture of ship shaker as I already discussed with you in the theoretical classes. This particular device is used for the finding of grain fineness number. It is also a sand testing operation being done by this particular device to find the grain fineness number as well. Now here you will find that particular ship shaker is being attached to a electronic circuit where you can automatically start the machine and it will automatically give you the grain fineness number as well. Now you can see different types of pans or ships, ships you can see are being attached and to a sequence. Now the uppermost layer of the pan or uh, sieve you can say is having the maximum or the larger type of holes and as you uh, you know descend gradually to the lowermost section of the pan you will find the mace is very closely attached so the fine particles will settle down at the bottom now this is a device we are going to use in our workshop and this is a very widely used device it is also being used by the civil department as well for their moisture testing of the soil and we generally use this uh, device particularly for the moisture content for the measurement of moisture content of molding sand in our foundry shop you can see the pressure gauge as well we will be using calcium carbide for measuring the moisture content of a molding sand as well now here you will find the clay content tester the particular device I already discussed with you in my uh, theoretical classes that this particular device is being widely used in the foundry shop to measure the clay content of a given specimen of a particular you know sand casting. Now this is the permeability tester where we will find the permeability of a given sample of a molding sand. Now this is the universal sand testing machine where we will be using to find the green compressive strength of a given specimen of a molding sand that will be used during casting processes as well. Now after the testing of the different properties of the sand. Uh, it will be ready for pouring the molten metal into the particular molding cavity and now you will find in this particular diagram the typical diagram of a molding uh, cavity uh, including the different portions you can see over here the coop drag the riser pouring basin as well we already have discussed thoroughly in my theoretical classes about all this you know the different sections of the molding cavity now this is the picture of the actual molding flux that are being widely used in molding in foundry shop you can find the cope and drag as well now in this video you can easily find how to prepare or fill the molding sand in a molding cavity you can see a person is filling and it is ramming also the molding sand in the molding box and this is the strike of bar by which he is uh, you know peeling off the extra material out of the face of the uh, drag box next you can see uh, he is adding facing sand as well he is putting the pattern now he is forming the runner as well now this is the cope box you can see 
now again you have to fill the coke box with the molding sand as well now he is forming the riser as well now you have to fill the molding cavity with exact amount or the appropriate amount of molding sand as well and then you have to ram it well as you can find in the video and then you have to peel off the extra sand out of the coke box so you can easily understand how to prepare the molding cavity and how to peel off the extra sand out of the uh, molding flux you can say so he's checking the holes for riser and runner as well now he's unboxing you know and losing the uh, different pins to take out the cope from the track now you can find the mold cavity that is being formed by the pattern as well now he is forming the in gate where from the molten metal will flow into the molding cavity as well he is checking it properly so that there will be no blockage during the flow of the molten metal as well now he is uh, attaching the pins the withdrawal pins for the pattern so very carefully you have to withdraw the pattern so that the walls of the you know the cavity remains undisturbed as well now you can find easily very easily the molding cavity now he is positioning the core as well you know core is used for making hollow casting as i already discussed with you in the, my theoretical classes now he is attaching the cope and drag and he is clamping tightening the screws as well now this is a picture from our workshop where we uh, clicked the photo of molten aluminum you know during the uh, casting of aluminum now this is also a picture from our foundry shop in our workshop where you can see the open melting furnace we are uh, going to use this for casting purposes and melting of aluminum as well here you will find the cupola with scrap aluminum and the open melting furnaces being set on fire to have the molten aluminum out of it that will be used as a molten metal in the casting of aluminum now after the melting of the aluminum the molten aluminum is being poured through the screw and you can find the riser as well beside the screw you have to check whether the metal molten metal is coming out of the riser or not that will indicate that your molten molding cavity is being filled enough with the uh, molten aluminum as well so you can find uh, the molten metal you have to put as long as there is no indication of coming out of the molten metal from the riser now here you can find the picture of the solidified molten aluminum in the molding cavity and the final casting as well you can say after you know picking out of the molding cavity you have to perform some uh, grinding operation or surface finish operation for the proper shaping and you know the glazing of the final product as well so so if you find this video useful please give me a like and if you have any thing to say please comment me on the comment section and share this video with your friends and families thank you very much